what's up y'all your girl keeks is back back on track and that's that now for real guys i'm back um i wanted to give you guys a little life update i am still a teacher in new york this is my second year teaching i am a third grade teacher currently last year i used to teach first grade um i'm also a mom and my baby is seven months old he is the cutest little thing ever he is so smart he's filled of he's full of joy and ever since he came to my life it has totally changed there are some good parts there are some bad parts but i just wanted to give you guys a little update and i actually wanted to make this video specifically because i wanted to talk about my postpartum journey some of the things that i went through recovery and some tips for new moms or if you are currently a mom this video still applies because as a new mom especially a young mom i know that there's a lot of pressure on us and we often forget about self-care and then that affects our baby whether we think so or not so stick to the video listen to this little story time and share along there might be a new mom who needs to hear these things and needs to know that she is not alone you are not alone mommy i promise you so let's get to the video so i had my baby in august um before i was discharged i was made aware that i might be going through baby blues um i heard this term before but i never really knew what it meant um the nurse that's a care of me said that it's just you might be feeling sad you might be crying so on and so forth for about two weeks and she said if it goes on past those two weeks then it's postpartum depression so i was feeling very sad the first two weeks i would cry for no reason um i was going through a lot with my body um i was an overproducer so if you don't know what that means, that means you made too much breast, um, too much milk for your baby. So you were producing over what he needed to feed. Um, that caused me to get mastitis and I was hospitalized at two weeks postpartum. So I was away from my baby because I was overproducing milk for a few days. And I got like this infection on my breast tissue. That's what mastitis is. And... I was hospitalized at two weeks so i was away from my baby that just made everything worse i was already feeling very sad and vulnerable very weak um and then being away from him made it worse so fast forward to my six week appointment i am still feeling very sad i'm still feeling very insecure but i don't tell my doctor because what are they gonna do about it i literally just told, i told myself like what are they gonna do about it like i just kept it to myself i was very insecure i would cry all the time i would have these horrible ugly thoughts in my head 24 7. literally 24 7. and i would try to enjoy these moments with my baby and being totally honest i couldn't i couldn't because i was so deep into my thoughts and I was so, I was feeling so empty and so sad that I couldn't even enjoy my newborn, which is fucking crazy because I never thought that was possible. I thought I was gonna feel very happy. I was gonna feel very strong because of my baby, but that was not the case. And just thinking about this makes me very emotional, as you can tell, I'm about to cry. but it's crazy what postpartum depression can take away from me because literally his first few weeks are a blur to me because of all the shit that i was feeling and going through um i started to change a little bit because my baby was always crying and he was feeding off of my energy and i was like bro i felt terrible knowing that i was bringing this negative energy to my baby and i could feel it in him and i could see it because every time I would cry, he would cry. And like, it was nuts. And I didn't know what to do about it. I tried to listen to positive things, but it wasn't really helping. 
and i i was just too blurred i was too into all these negative things saying all these negative things to myself um that i really didn't appreciate what i had and it's crazy because i asked god for a baby for so long and i finally got it and i felt so guilty because i wanted that so bad and i got it and i wasn't being appreciative i wasn't being grateful so that made me feel worse <laughs> it's like and it was like a toxic endless cycle of feeling bad because one morning i will feel okay but then i'll feel like i'm not doing good enough for my son the next morning i'll feel a little better about my looks but then i go to the bathroom see myself in the mirror and it's like no bitch you look ugly so it's like all these thoughts are current are constantly in your head and no matter how good you feel about one thing it was like another thing came up so it was like you're constant it was like i was constantly feeling bad and empty and i was bringing that negative energy to my son which made me feel worse um and that was the case for a really long time like even three months three months postpartum i felt like i was still very negative um i was still very self-conscious i wouldn't wear certain clothes I will feel bad. I will feel like I wasn't good enough for my son, for my husband, for anything. And <clears throat> it was very depressing. Like, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. And then I felt frustrated because I was doing all these things on my own. Um, my husband was right by my side the whole time. But <clears throat> we were basically doing things on our own. And as new parents, that can be very emotionally... Um, draining because you don't know if you're doing the right thing or not so it was like a constant battle of feeling good enough versus not feeling good enough and it was like constantly fighting ourselves and i had a lot of relationship issues because i was angry all the time for no reason like i had my reasons in my head but they weren't really valid it's like postpartum depression literally blinded me took away all these moments that were so special were supposed to be so special because i couldn't focus i literally could not focus because all i was thinking about was being good enough for my son which is normal you're a new mom that's totally okay but also feeling like i'm not doing what i should be doing or i should be doing more so it's like I constantly felt like I had to do more or I had to be more or I had to look a certain way or I had to be doing this and this. It's, it was so crazy because I didn't know how to manage it. Like I didn't know what to do and I felt like I was voicing it to friends and my, my family members but I felt like I wasn't getting the help that I needed because it's like what can we do for you? you're a mom now you have to figure it out um and yeah four months postpartum i'm starting to feel a little better because i look skinnier this is something else that i actually forgot to mention i lost my appetite completely after i gave birth but specifically when i was three weeks postpartum i don't know what it was but i literally did not want to eat and I just wanted to cry all the time. I didn't want to eat. And I felt like that was a side effect of postpartum depression because um, unconsciously I was thinking that I wouldn't lose all the baby weight, all the baby fat, whatever, if I ate, which was fucking crazy now that I think about it, but that's literally what happened. I lost weight really quickly. I thought that was gonna make me feel better it didn't because i got back to my weight like a month <laughs> postpartum and i still don't feel better so it wasn't even about the looks and that's when i was starting to realize that um i needed to change my attitude and my energy especially for my baby i noticed that once i started being a little bit more positive or even faking it because i was faking it at first he was feeling better he stopped crying so much he stopped being so fuzzy he started to smile for once he was a very he looked like a very angry baby 
but i feel like that was mostly my fault because that's just the energy that i gave off um i started to fake it for a few months and eventually i made it those first few months were fucking scary my head was scary i was trying to think about just my son but i was literally digging myself into a big fucking hole and then constantly throwing myself in there and not knowing how to escape only knowing how to make it deeper and deeper for myself so eventually i just started faking it i started faking that i was feeling better that i loved this new mom lifestyle that i knew what i was doing that if i didn't know i'll figure it out and let me tell you that's what worked for me that's what worked for me literally faking it i faked it till i made it i feel really good about myself right now i'm seven months postpartum and i can say that around six months postpartum that's when i started feeling a bit better about my depression and i feel like i'm not as depressed as i was before i'm very self-aware of my emotions and i feel like i'm doing way better i feel more confident i feel more secure i know that i'm the best mom that i can be and i'm doing the best i can every single day for my son and i am enough i am enough that was my biggest struggle during postpartum depression, not feeling enough, but I'm enough. I know that now and I wish I would tell myself back then that it's going to be okay. Your body is going to go back to what it was. Um, your baby is going to be fine. He's going to be happy. He's going to be healthy and you are enough. Stop comparing yourself. Stop thinking about what others might think. Stop worrying about who's there and who's not. Because that used to fuck me up in the head too. I didn't have no friends coming around. I didn't have no one coming around. When I expected all my friends to be there. Especially the ones who were closest to me. But it didn't happen. But that's life. And that's okay. Again, I really wish I would tell myself back then that it's going to be okay. It's a process, it's a learning process, and no learning process or journey is linear. None, none. So I'm glad I went through that because I am so much stronger now. And I, I'm so much wiser too. And I'm really working on being the best version of myself for my son and for me because during those months, I was fighting myself when I should have been more gentle and more, um, I feel like that's just the word, be more gentle with myself. So to you who might be going through postpartum or who is going to go through postpartum, it gets better. You learn your baby, you learn their ways, you learn their needs, and you're going to be there for them. It's a learning process. And you might be going crazy, but it gets better. You're more than what your mind is saying that you are. Learn how to control your emotions and manage your thoughts. Because I feel like me being so vulnerable at that moment, I wasn't able to control my thoughts like I can now. And that, made, that has made such a huge difference in my life. Literally, our biggest enemy can be our own minds which is why we need to learn how to control our emotions learn about positive thinking grow our minds in a way that we deal with these situations in a more positive way so another tip is listening to personal development i wasn't doing that consistently and i wish i did before so doing personal development videos listening to personal development videos doing exercise 15 to 30 minutes a day even if it's just a walk outside go outside getting pretty doing your hair even if it's three in the morning do your hair wash your face make a routine take time for yourself get help i know a lot of us especially as new moms we want to 
have everything under control we want to do everything ourselves we don't want to bother anyone but <clears throat> it's important to get help and it's okay to get help it's okay that you can't do everything all at once it is okay your body is going back to normal and i really just wanted to give you those tips one more time personal development taking time for yourself and get help and manage your thoughts and your feelings the advice i have for you is just having someone to talk to because sometimes keeping things in for ourselves does not do any good it usually just harms us because again it's a constant battle with you against you this negative self and yourself who's already weak at that moment so talking to a friend having a friend be there for you is very important just tell someone how you're feeling because that also in itself makes you feel a little better um also focusing on the good i feel like during postpartum depression i only focused on the bad on what i couldn't do what i was missing um constantly comparing myself so focus on the good focus on the good things focus on your baby look at all the amazing things that they're doing and just focus on that try to think about better things more positive things um i feel like i would have needed this before this is my vision board so i feel like taking time to make a vision board during your postpartum might be very helpful because you're seeing this every day and there is no way that you're not going to attract something that you're seeing every day so you can work on adding pictures and stuff to a vision board even if it's just two minutes a day eventually it's going to come together and you're going to attract all those things that you truly want for yourself for your baby for your family and for your mental health so that's another tip that i have for you um i also want to say that again voicing how you feel is very helpful because it also makes you self-aware of your triggers and of things that you can do to make it better because sometimes we're so in our head that we're not able to analyze clearly the situation and how to make it better so i feel like that is it because I didn't want to really indulge into all the negative. Um, everyone's postpartum journey is different. And I am not 100% recovered from postpartum depression, depression. But I feel so much better. And I'm honestly very thankful um, for my son, for my family, and for the things that I went through. Because it has made me so much wiser, so much stronger, and so much aware of myself, my triggers, my emotions, and the things that I'm capable of, of being capable of. So I just wanted to say that you're not alone. It might feel like you're the only one, but you're not alone. You're not the only one going through this and you will surpass this storm. It will get better. Your baby loves you. There is no better mother than you for your baby. God chose this baby for you. You're an amazing mom. You're going to do great. You're going to figure it all out. I promise. It gets better. It gets better. Please don't forget about yourself. Don't neglect yourself. I know your baby is your priority, but please take some time to do self-care, to just think about yourself be more gentle with yourself and don't just focus on routines for the baby you need a routine yourself baby you need a routine yourself so don't just do these little nighttime routine for the baby do a nighttime routine for yourself get cute get pretty put some makeup on even if you're not going anywhere take some cute pictures do your hair even if it takes five minutes and you think it looks crazy do it Start doing something different every day, even if it's small, because I promise you it's going to make a difference. I am so proud of you. You're going to surpass this.
thank you for watching guys um that was just a short story time about my postpartum journey and how i eventually felt better and again thank you so much for allowing me to be vulnerable on this app and actually share my story please follow for more videos um i'll be going to dr next weekend and i'll be doing some vlogs i'm also going to be recording a day in the life probably going to be on my tiktok but there's going to be many vlogs about things that i'll be doing out in dominican republic and i'm going to be posting more videos about hair care as you know i always used to do mass monday um as a mom things change and you don't have as much time as before but i'll figure it out and i'm gonna start being more consistent because i've also set these goals for myself that i want to achieve and i want to hold myself accountable and be consistent because that it that's what's like that's what life is about being consistent setting goals and reaching them you go boss mamas and all my other followers all my other subscribers see you on my next video